good, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so we're here at the uh, Thermal we're a cl Private Club with this beautiful <laughs> new car. Uh, so new uh, Acura NSX. So you weren't born with the new one when the old one <laughs> came out, right? Just. Oh, just. Just born. Okay. So. So uh, yeah. And the interesting thing is on that car, on the original NSX, my dad. Yeah. The great Bobby Ray Hall, of was course. A very, was a very small part in the development of that. Okay. And did a similar thing to what I'm doing now. So it's, you know, it's kind of cool to see the... It's uh, within the family. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's it is. pretty cool. The ties to Honda Acura are, are pretty deep. So it's... Uh, so you obviously have driven it uh, before. Uh, what can you tell us? I mean, what are your initial reactions to the car? Well, I've driven it quite a lot now. Um, I've spent a lot of days in it and... Um, you know, I think uh, I, it's it's a very unique car. It's definitely very fast. Uh, the acceleration is extremely good. Yeah. The braking capability of the car is really good. What I think is coolest about it, and most enjoyable, is that the car really does what you want it to do. Okay. Um, you know, if you want the car to, to oversteer a little bit, you can get it to do it. If you want the car to understeer into the corner, you can do all these things based on how you brake how you give the car throttle, how you steer the car. And there's not many cars anymore that do that. Yeah. You know, a lot of the cars today are almost so refined. Yeah, they um, control everything. That you can't just go out and, yeah. and have some fun. And the other side of this car, of the NSX, lives to what the true meaning of the car was originally and the, and the true value of it, which is the everyday supercar. Uh -huh. So this car very much- Pretty comfortable. Is yeah something you could utilize every day uh you can fit golf clubs in the back it's small but you can fit golf clubs yeah. in the trunk um you know you go drive uh, a lot of other cars and you're putting them in the passenger seat <laughs> yeah, there's know? nothing yeah so it's very different but i i really really enjoy uh enjoy driving it the, the other thing to note is not only do we have all these different dynamic modes like right now if you hold the knob to the right we're gonna click it over into track mode there but but the one thing about this car that a, a lot of people don't realize is it's a nine speed gearbox yeah. so no matter what kind of corner you're in no matter what kind of speed that that corner may be you're gonna have a gear for everything and we can take this car from the track and be going extremely this, fast yeah and take it out onto the freeway and get incredible fuel mileage because it's a hybrid. Yeah, with the yeah. Ninth, ninth speed, you put it in ninth gear yeah. going, you know, 75 miles an hour and it's barely using any fuel. So the other thing about this car, I mean, having the, the hybrid component, the, the sound of the car, I mean, the still the V6, it's really cool too. Yeah, the noise is, you can definitely hear it. It's very good for, for a V6. And we all know what we face with noise as far as turbocharged engines, yeah. turbochargers, uh -huh. typically a quieter engine. So, you know, at the end of the day, I think they've done a great job with this car. And let's not forget that Honda, in a corporate sense, with Acura, Honda, whatever the parent company, is all about efficiency. Of course. And so noise, for a car to be loud, is not something that Honda represents. You know, they want a very solid, sound, quiet car. So you can hear, the car's got great acceleration. And what yeah. we're doing today with the rides, really, like for me right now, yes. I always have to look in the mirror and see. Yeah, we have some people following, so you have to pay Who's behind me? Yeah. How far behind? Otherwise, I can really go out here and yeah. give you a bit of a thrill. So speaking about the, the driving mode, track mode, and also the automatic transmission, but you can also do it with, uh, with the paddles. With the paddles. What's, what's your preference? I like the paddles because I like to control what the car is doing. Yeah. I will say, with this vehicle, if you're on the track and you put it in Sport Plus or track mode and you leave it just in drive, it is extremely good yeah. about shifting when it's right. Yeah. So I like the manual because I like to control it. But some others may just...
prefer to use yeah. and, drive and, mode. And not only you like to control it, you know how to control it. I mean, yeah. you're a professional driver, give me a break. But because like people, I mean, I'm not that good of a driver. So for me, it would be much better to have the automatic transmission and do the work, right? Yes, absolutely. I think it makes it a little bit easier. And particularly on, on the track for those who aren't excellent drivers, the one thing it does is it allows you to just more focus on the track yeah, and having fun. There's a lot of things that you have to pay attention to. Than like. everything else. Yeah. COC, I mean. there like really quickly and with no much effort really huh? and um, it's, it's, it really really is a spectacular spectacular car and as you can see the braking performance of the car is yeah. extremely good That's and you know the other thing that I haven't seen a lot of people talk about with this car is the size of it Yes, it has weight to it because it's a hybrid and it's got the electric the motors, motors and all that. that, yeah. But what is cool about this car is it's still very compact. It's very small. You know, I, I don't know when you look at a supercar and stuff these days, typically they're getting bigger and bigger and yeah. wider and taller. And exactly. The NSX is still a very... A true uh, sports car. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very cool in that sense. When you, when you sit in it, I think the visual is very good out the front. Yeah, there's like a lot of like vision out there with nothing in front of you. And you've got the fender flares. You just yeah. see the top of the fenders, which is really cool. I think they've done a lot of stuff right. And as you can see, it's it's you, you know pretty comfortable inside the oh, seat. Exactly because yeah, yeah, it's small in the outside, but it's pretty comfortable. I mean, you're like tall I'm guy. tall. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm six foot three or so. It, uh, you know, I can wear a helmet and still have headroom. And, and the still, side, yeah, feel like it's not light. I mean, it has like a good inch in between. The side, the side bolster of the seat is also really good. And they've done a great job without having a bucket seat yeah. to still give you a lot of support. Tricky track, huh? Yeah, it is. A lot of uh, it's fun, uh, sharp though. turns. It's fun. As you see, this is your dynamic mode yeah. knob here. So we can adjust this if you go to the left, you know, sport, sport plus, back to the right, and then if you hold it, it clicks into track mode. Really easy operation. Uh, very simple. Some of the other cars, uh, you have to go through menus and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty. It easy. is, yeah. You know, the other great thing about about this car that I think uh, is a lot of fun is the power band. It's got a great power band. Yes, it's hybrid, so it is getting some support from the hybrid system. Yeah. However, the car never seems to have a hole in the power band. The car always, always pulls. It gives you pretty gives aggressive. You something, yeah. In the, in the hybrid system, they've done a great job with it, that it's very smooth in transition. So the only way you really know that the hybrid system is working is on the dash. It says assist in charge right here. Okay. You know, so if uh, if it's on, it will go all the way up full assist. That's only the only really way you know it's on all the time. Yeah, with the physics of uh, the car, like, you don't really feel anything. No. No. It's a fun car. I think people, you know, when they when they come out and they're more available on the street, which obviously production is relatively limited, but when they're available out on, on the street, I think people that, that own these cars are going to really love them. And yeah, I think, and I think for the price, obviously it's not a cheap car, but I mean, for the price for what you get in that technology, there are other cars in that segment that are really, really much more expensive. A lot more, yes. A lot more. I mean, you look at, uh, you know, 911 Carrera S or something, which isn't even the performance model anymore. Yeah. 
and the price of those is, is quite high, yeah. you know, with the MSRP when you build it outright. So, um, you know, and this obviously far exceeds the performance of that. I think your, your, your performance standards are pretty well above a 911 turbo, if Absolutely. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, and that's a very fast car. It's a car. great car, yeah, exactly. Well, I guess it was worth the wait. After all those years that people were waiting for this uh, new car to come out, I mean, well, here it is now. It's a reality. And, like, really it is. It is a reality. It is cool. It's, uh, you know, they've gone through a lot with the development of this car, um, you know, with the engine layout, um, you know, the direction in which the engine is, looking at, you know, other, other forms of engine, you know, They've, they've had to increase the power output yeah. significantly so that took a major design change on the internal side of the engine and and then you know we're still developing to this day you know when I do days like this uh, you know at the end of the day the last input and, and and they can still go and make minor changes I mean you look at other companies like your McLaren and you know Porsche and others yeah. like that you know they're constantly evolving their cars even when they're in production use anyway and I think that you'll see something similar here. You can always make it better. Well, what a great story that your dad worked on the original and you're working on this. I feel like a, that's a really complete, beautiful circle. It's a lot of fun. Thank you very much, Graham. I really enjoyed it. Thank you.